اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یا مومنین لعنت اللہ علیہ منافقین ودسی صلوات و تحیم از جماعۃ اللهم صل علی سیدنا محمد و علی علی محمد كما صلیت علی ابراہیم و علی علی ابراہیم انک حمید مجید سو برادرز آئی وانٹ ٹو پریزنٹ ٹو یو پروف اگینسٹ ابو لیث مفتی ابو ابو لیث ویوز آن میراکلز on miracles he has a particular view on miracles just shortly i have longer videos on it but just shortly here to present the view so we can counter it he believes that anything in the quran that seems to refer to a miracle or a miraculous happening something that is against the sunnah of allah the sunnah of allah that we experience day to day in our lives for him that means uh, the laws of physics for example these are the sunnah sunnah of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or at least the sunnah of his takhliq right that things tend to fall down uh, our bodies tend to work in a particular way we need to eat so that we can survive you know these type of sunnah of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his world so he says basically anything that refers to a miracle or what we call in traditional Islam tarki adat an abandonment of a habit right in a moment Allah you know raises the dead through Isa al-Islam or he, he parts the sea through Musa al-Islam these type of things um, are called a breaking of habit or an abandonment of habit in a particular moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly acts against his habit right and so that acting against his habit is meant to be an ayah for the kuffar and the kazibin to see it and then to have hujja established upon them either to accept the dawah haq and uh, have iman in Allah or to reject it and have the hujja established upon them this is the purpose of this but Abu Layth says that no this is not how it works anything that is of this kind the Red Sea parting or Isa al-Islam raising the dead or anything like this can be rationally reinterpreted right for him I I'm a rational person but what for him rational means is it can be reinterpreted in a way where the breaking of the habit didn't happen there's it means that the language of the Quran means something other than the habit being broken this is his basic view now moving on now I am working on a very simple proof that will perfectly refute and perfectly reject what he says I've, I've given a very long and extensive proof but I'm working on a simple and perfect proof which is basically if you look at the غَيْرٌ hisab and hisab. you look at the way hisab is used in the Quran الرحمن علمه القرآن خلقه الانسان علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بي حزبان the shams and the kamar the sun and the moon are in a, in a calculatable or orbit you understand so husban hasin ba is used uh, for something that is calculatable allah says uh, do you not uh, have hisab or don't you calculate or don't you think it refers to pragmatic thinking how do you calculate how do you strategize this type of thing is also referred to as hisab but here let's just take the example of the sun and moon having calculatable orbits or obeying some sort of calculation right this idea now directly other uh, in contradiction to this idea Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah Maryam that when Hazrat Zakaria enters the mihrab of uh, uh, Hazrat Maryam al -Islam, and he sees that there is some sort of he sees that there's some sort of risk with her he says to it uh, where did this risk from come from and she says Allah provides for whom he wills غَيْرٌ hisab. so you see hisab is referring to this idea of Newtonian orbits of the planets and it's also referring to غَيْرٌ hisab being something that is other than غَيْرٌ other than the calculatable Newtonian world something that is being provided without that calculation that is being provided outside of that outside in contradiction to that or other than that let's say it's something other than that what is calculatable such as the sun and the moon right the sun and the moon are calculatable this providence is not calculatable this is the perfect proof so I'm going to make a whole video on this perfect proof that's going to be short and simple but here I want to provide an additional proof so I'm going to recite one ayat of the Quran to you which is a different type of proof um, uh, which is a different, let's just say a different type of proof. I'll recite the ayah and we'll discuss its meaning and its relevance to the view of Abu Layth. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا 
This, this is Surah uh, Ashuara, Surah 42, Ayah 14. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا تَفَرَّقُوا إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمُ الْإِلْمُ بَغْيَمْ بَيْنَهُمْ وَلَوْ قَلِمَاتٌ سَبَقَتْ مِنْ رَبِّكَ إِلَّا أَجْلًا مُسَمَّنْ لَقُضِعَ بَيْنَهُمْ وَإِنَّ أُلَّذِينَ أُرِثُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ لَا فِي شَكٍ مِنْحُ مُرِيب So he's basically saying that <coughs> The people, or they do not become divided except until after knowledge has come to them. So, what he has come to people, ilm has come to people, knowledge has come to people, and they become divided after that. Why? Out of uh, out of uh, rebellion and against each other. Meaning, some the person who is right and has rightful authority based upon what is right from Allah, the ilm that Allah has given, he is right upon them, and therefore he has authority based upon that being right. The people rebel against. Against him, and because they rebel against that rightful person, uh, you know they don't want to obey the rightful person, even though he's right. They don't want to obey him, so out of this they become uh, divided. And if not for a word that proceeded from your Lord, and so here is saying now there's something that would happen in response to this. It's saying that it's a sunnah of Allah that if something like this happens, there's a law in place, there's a metaphysical law in place that if someone, if these people reject the truth after the truth has come to them, they reject, uh, they become uh, broken into sex after. After knowledge has come to them, after they know the truth, they become divided, then there is a metaphysical law that in response to such an occurrence would ha would uh, uh, cause something to occur, like something falling down. Something would naturally occur in response to this situation, except for وَلَوْ لَا بَيْنَهُمْ وَلَوْ لَا كَلِمَاتٌ سَبَقَتْ بَيْنَهُمَا إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَعَاهُمْ الْإِلْمُ بَعْغِيًا بَيْنَهُمْ وَلَوْ لَا كَلِمَاتٌ سَبَقَتْ مِنْ رَبِّكَ Except for a Lord Sabaka preceding or overriding is the best translation here. Except for a word from your Lord overriding. So there's a kalima that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that overrides the metaphysical law, overrides his sunnah in his creation. إِلَّا أَجْلٌ مُسَمِّنْ For a time appointed. For an appointed time, for an appointed period, or until an appointed time, or until an appointment. La qudiya baynahum. It would have been decided between you. So if not for a kalama uh, thabaka from our Lord, proceeding from our Lord or overriding the, the sunan of the creation of our Lord, um, it would be decided between us. So what would happen when these people become divided after the truth has come in between them? The matter would be decided. What that means is the angels would descend and they would cause the, the azab to come upon the kuffar and the mu'minin would make hijrah and they would be separated out and the decision would be made between them the way it's happened for all the prophets. This qada'a doesn't happen because a word from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala proceeds to prevent it from happening. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is acting against his sunnah is basically what's being said here. Uh, this is a miracle. This is the this is a miracle. This is a sort of unapparent miracle. This is a miracle of delaying. There's a sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it, it will cause azab to descend, but he is acting against that. So we don't see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala acting against it, but it's a sort of miracle, meaning that it is something outside of his habit, outside of the natural order, outside of the metaphysical order that Allah has created. He takes an action to prevent something from happening or cause something to happening that is outside of the norm or it's outside of the habit. لَقُدِيَا بَيْنَهُمْ وَإِنَّ أُلَّذِينَ أُرِثُوا uh, and those we cause to inherit ul kitaba the book min ba'dihim after uh, after them la fi shakkin minhu murib um they are concerning it in doubt you're concerning in doubt. So it's talking about people that, you know, uh, after these Yahud and Nasara who who become divided, after ilm has come to them, even the people after them, either referring to us or referring to the Christian after the Yahud or the Yahud after the Sabiun, you know, whoever is coming after, who receives the book after these people who have become divided, they also then become doubtful about the book. This is this also happens. So we see that in this clear ayah, Allah subhanahu makes it clear that he 
engages in in actions which go against the natural and even the metaphysical order he engages in actions or he, he carries out actions that go against the natural and the metaphysical order um, and and therefore he breaks his habit and this is this is a type of miracle that happens from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meaning the the angels not coming down when people have ilm but they become divided out of jealousy despite the ilm then the metaphysical order would be for the angels to descend and destroy the, the kuffar and the kazab but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prevents this from happening by a direct action from himself so I'll talk to you soon inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh